I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, how to make a trampoline. This is another very important part of a marble race. Okay, so the first step into making a trampoline is just making a square like that. Now, uh, nothing really happens when you touch it. So if I just go to, if I just uh, glue it to the background, glue it to the background. Okay, so. Um, okay, so this is going to turn into our trampoline. So, as you can see, nothing really happens. But it's not really a trampoline right now. Um, how, do, how do you make it a trampoline? Because, if, boop, not really a trampoline. How do we make it a trampoline? Well, we double click it, and we go into material. Now, we have uh, five, five options here. Density, mass, friction, resistution, and attraction. What we want to look at is resistution. Whatever this number is, this is how bouncy it's going to be. So if we put it at zero, then what? if it's something hits it, so for example, this ball, see, it just there's no bounce to it. Let's say we put it at one. What happens if we put it at one? Well, if we put it at one, it bounces, but not that much. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it higher than one. Uh, so how do we put it higher than one when the slider goes up only to one? Well, what we can do is just change the number here. So I'm going to put 2.5. Actually, no, let's put 1.5 and see how that works. Okay, so if we put 1.5, hey, that's that's a trampoline. Now it decays, so I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna do two. One point. No, wait, no, two. If we do that, we get, whoops, um, woo, nice bounce to that. Yeah, so two is about the right um, thing for a trampoline. I tried, if you try 2.5, well, then you get this. You get this. It bounces higher and higher and higher and higher. Wee and boing. Whoa. See, it's almost off the screen already. So this is why you shouldn't do um, 2.5. Eventually, this will hit the top of the screen if we just speed it up. Yeah, and it went too fast. See? Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Anyway, so don't do that. <laughs> uh, I use two. So, no, I use... One sec. Yeah, don't do, don't do 2.5, just do two. And two is the best one for a trampoline. Of course, there is a way to make another one, um, but it involves coding. So if you want to quickly do that, I'll just show you how to do it. Um, if we set the redistribution back to what it was or even set it to zero. Uh, yeah, let's set it to zero first. So if we set it to zero, well, then this is what happens. Um, well, if it will just stay there right okay this is how you code um you right click and go to script menu and click it and you get all this please don't um be confused by this it's very complicated but what we want is go to on collide so on collide click say e dot other this will access the other um thing that anything that hits it dot vel um space equals space and then put a a square bracket, open square bracket, close square bracket, and now put inside that square bracket 0, 10. Okay, and press enter, and now you get this. Okay, so now what happens? Now I'll explain this code for, for but this is what happens. Now it bounces with the same amount every time. Now, 
how does this code work? Um, well, I'll just quickly explain it. So, e.other.vel accesses the other object, whatever hits it, it that object's velocity. Um, and then it sets um, its velocity to 0, 10. So, 0 in the x direction and 10 in the y direction. So, it goes up 10. That's basically how it works. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video. Um, I hope you did, uh, because this wouldn't be a very good tutorial if, it, if you didn't learn anything. Um, uh, yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just goofing around. Um, so, I hope you learned something. Um, I hope this was helpful to you in ha creating a trampoline. Okay, thanks for watching. This was part five. I'll see you in part six.